In this video, I'm going to show you the best money play in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. My name is Cody, and we do videos every single day that are devoted to helping you become a better Madden player. And today, I got a route combo for you that you can use out of Trips Tight End. And honestly, it's starting to become my favorite route combination. Again, it is the Air Raid Y Crossing concept. And we're going to show you how to use this, um, not only to be able to beat every defense of the game, but also it comes to us out of the PA Counter Go, which has probably some of the best pass blocking in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel or if you have not become a Patreon member yet, we're going to be talking about the Trips Tight End formation today. I've got a full ebook on Trips Tight End in my Patreon membership, so if you want to sign up for that, there'll be a link in the description below where you can join the Patreon for just $10 a month. Upon joining the membership, you'll be able to not only get access to the Trips Tight End ebook, you also get access to all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks that I have in there. In addition to that, you're going to get access to any updates to those ebooks and also the weekly update videos that I put out every single week that basically updates you on the meta and kind of keep you up to date on what's going on in the Madden 22 community. All right, guys, let's jump into this setup out of PA Counter Go. I'm going to show it to you against pretty much every single coverage in the game and walk you through as to why I think this is the best passing concept in Madden. All right, guys, so the play is PA Counter Go out of the New England Trips tight end formation. Now, you can run this on either hash, but I prefer to run this on the short side of the field. We're going to first show you this concept against the cover three defense. The setup is actually relatively simple. We're going to flat Scotty Miller, the outside slot receiver or the number two receiver in the trips. We're going to put Mike Evans on a smart routed in route. You could also put him on a five yard in route. But I actually really like the smart routed in route because it's not only going to be really good against uh, zone coverage, it's also going to be able to be low balled against man coverage, which we'll go over that in just a second. And then lastly, we're going to take the tight end and we're going to put him on a streak. Now, like I said, the play action is going to guarantee that you get incredible blocking. So what you want to do is as soon as the ball is snapped, you want to click that right trigger so that that running back will basically kind of dumb out and it'll cancel the play action, but still keep the same blocking assignments. Our first read is always the tight end streak. If that's not open, we're going to look to the flat. What you're going to notice about this is a little glitch that is within this formation. Now, one of the most popular concepts in Madden 22 is the cover three Mabel coverage. If you know anything about cover three Mabel, typically what that means is they're going to put a cloud flat at a 30 yard depth and they're going to put a curl flat zone at a five yard depth. What you just saw out of cover three, if you take a look at my coverage, is that is a curl flat zone. So I'm going to show you the cover three again. You see here, this is a curl flat defender. So what's going to happen here is that this flat, this flat, we're going to look to the tight end. No, then we're looking at the flat. If that curl flat sucks in, we're going to throw that ball every single time. As you can see right there, it's one of the best ways to run this concept. Um, and it's a really, really great way to be able to kind of frustrate people if they're utilizing the Mabel defensive coverage. So what the next thing that your opponent is going to do is they're going to run a cover three hard flat coverage. And that's, going to, that's where our, kind of our, our next read comes into play. So first and foremost, if this tight end is open up the seam, we're going to hit him. If he's not open, now we can hit this five or this uh, smart routed in route if they are to go hard flat. Notice that the yellow zone is going to get sucked into the middle of the field by the crosser, and then your um, and then your route to the deep dig is going to be wide open. Now, what I like to tell people whenever I'm talk, trying to teach people how to throw this dig route, what you want to do is you want to pass lead that. Uh, ideally up if you can't pass lead it up maybe the safety's in there maybe there's a defender in the way then go ahead and just simply low ball it and it's going to be a nice little possession catch that you can count on so i'll show this to you one more time and then we'll cover um, another another coverage but what you're going to see here just pass lead that up click on and then you want to instantly spin out and what you're going to see is oftentimes you're going to be able to get a massive massive gain all right, guys, let's take a look at the next coverage uh, or the next route that's going to be open on this play. So what's going to happen is their user is going to have to start usering over in this section of the field, which is actually really popular. So they're going to start usering the trip side. What's going to happen for your offense, though, is you're going to notice that this deep streak is going to pull all of the zones out of the way. Once this guy passes the yellow, you can throw this on the sideline, and you're going to see there they're going to have to have a 30-yard zone to be able to defend this. The problem is if they put a 30-yard cloud flat back there, then they're going to have a lot of problems on that left side of the field. Now, the next thing I want to show you about cover three is let's say, for example, that they are able to play the cloud flat. So they're going to put the 30 yard cloud flat on the both sides, as you can see right here. And then now what they're going to do is they're actually just going to go ahead and man up that receiver over in the middle of the field. Again, the, what we want to do is if they're if the defender goes to the flat, then we're going right to the dig. And if we can hit that dig, that's one of the best routes in this offense. All right, guys, let's show you this coverage beater against the cover two or the Tampa two uh, concept. 
And the cool part about Tampa 2 is you're going to basically beat, beat this exactly the same. What you're going to notice against cover 2, a lot of times this seam could potentially be there. But if it's not there, you want to go ahead and take your flat. Take your flat in this offense. If you're patient and you take your flat, it's going to open up everything for your offense. So if they're, if they're playing soft on that flat, then go ahead and take that flat. I'll show it to you again here. So again, what we're doing is we're reading tight end. No, now we're looking flat. Oh, the flat's there. We're going to take that and we can throw it up. Okay. Now, not only is the flat going to be there, but oftentimes in a cover two or traditional cover two, they're going to be running some underneath coverage, really trying to come underneath to stop some of our West Coast style or horizontal passing concept. What that's going to then leave open, though, is this deep dig over the middle. As you can see right there, just pass that up. As you can see, it beats the cloud on that side. Again, they have to have a 30 yard cloud. Problem is, if they have a 30 yard cloud, that flat on the left side is going to be wide open and you're going to be able to continue to move the ball. Now the last coverage that I, or uh, the next coverage I want to show you is the matching coverage. This is a cover four quarters style of defense. And it's one of my favorite coverages to, to use this play against. And the reason why is because the crosser is going to absolutely glitch out the match coverage. As you can see right there, just passing that straight up. You're going to swerve catch that on the sideline. And as you can see, we're going to be able to torch that defense. And the next part of beating this coverage is something else that I want to show in this. And that is the ability that we have from our dig. You're going to see that the flat plays like a hard flat. So what do we do? We low ball that dig. And as you can see, it's able to beat the match coverage. And we're going to kind of close this video down by showing you this coverage or this uh, concept against man-to-man -man coverage with two purples or two flat zones. What you're going to notice with, these, uh, with this man-to-man -man base coverage here that you're going to see is you've got a lot of options actually. The first option that we're going to be looking at here is the crosser. If they're not going to use that crosser, we're going to try to throw that. Right there, I threw that just a little bit too... Um, you, you want to throw... Whenever you're playing against man, you want to throw that a little bit more to the sidelines. Right there, I made a mistake. Obviously, I paid for it with an interception. But let me show you that crossing route one more time. And what you're going to see here is this crosser. When you run against man, you ideally want to kind of get that, again, more towards the sideline, harder, sharper throw, um, and that's going to help you beat that. I want to show you something else here really quickly. This is a tip that I put out earlier in the season. But if they put an inside quarter here, this is something that a lot of people are trying to do because they know that that's going to be able to give the crosser some trouble. If we see an adjustment like that, we want to throw where their defender is not. So let's just low ball it. And as you can see, we can click on and make a secure catch. The last route on this play or the, the, the uh, other man beater that we're going to have or the other option is if they start to go with the crosser, what we're going to be able to do is just like the uh, just like with the hard flat of a cover three defense, we're going to low ball that inside. And as you can see, it's one of the best man beaters in Madden 22. All right, guys, that is PA counter go, at least the way that I like to use it against uh, out of trips tied in. Very simple concept. But a very powerful concept. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to join our Patreon. It's only $10 a month to sign up. It's going to get you all of my ebooks, all the updates to those ebooks, and any new additional ebooks that we release or new updates while your membership is active. Also, guys, I've started streaming on twitch.tv pretty much every morning. So if you want to go check that out, twitch.tv slash Cody Ballard, you can drop Cody Ballard 0531. You can drop a follow there. There's a link in the description below for you to be able to do that. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and we'll see you guys next time.